Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily house of inspiration and juice! It is September the 24th, 2021, and today the topic is No Other God. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, <laughs> I won't lie, y'all. Today, um, not necessarily feeling, you know. Um, I don't think I'm tired per se, um, because I woke up around like 2 or something like that, I think it was like 2.20 to be exact, you guys want to look that up, but, um, yeah, yeah, I've been up, I just, I don't know, I think it's because I got so much to do today and tomorrow, and I think that's probably what it is, um, as you all know, I'm going live tonight with Mr. Branch, Mr. Branch, it's Soleil. I believe I'm saying it right. <laughs> um, we'll be going live tonight for God Sex and Love to Talk show. Uh, we'll be live here on Facebook as well as our YouTube. And yes, you know it's going to be on GodSexandLove.com, <laughs> right? So, yeah, I mean, I just got so much stuff to do, y'all. Like, um, story short it's a blessing it's a blessing i'm not complaining at all i'm I'm definitely thankful for any and all opportunities um, especially in this season and whatnot so with that being said pretty much what's going on is that after my show tonight i'm gonna have to start prepping for tomorrow um because i have a booking well actually technically i i guess i technically have a couple of bookings with my business miracle plays um one that's going to be That's what I'm thinking. I think that after the show tonight, I'm going to be prepping for tomorrow. Um, as well as, you know, there's another event that I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow as well. So it's like I'm coordinating one event, I'm going to do one part of it, and then go do this other event. So that is the general plan. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that's why I'm in this. Again, it's a blessing. I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> I just know it's like a lot of stuff to do. Um, and I'm going to try to rest in between today because obviously, you know, I'm going to have some energy for the night and some other things. So anyway, so we'll see how that goes, you know, with me and my, my two-year-old and, and all that. Um, as for yesterday, man, um, you know, not too, too much outside of normal stuff, you know, the networking, the posting, the sharing, the, you know, all the good stuff, the communication with different people, um, and everything like that, but, um, yeah, man, I'm excited, though, I'm excited about all these endeavors and things that are in the works, um, for those of you all that care, uh, I ended up upgrading my mini penny last night, so I can get ready for these events that's going on today and tomorrow, actually did a theme of my one of my events tomorrow unfortunately again i won't be able to stick it out at her whole event but at least my nail i'm there in spirit so my nails is matching her event she has like this leopard theme so shout out to casey if you're watching um you know i'll be i won't be able to stay at your event the entire time but you know if you're interested nail polish and things available at unwindselfcare.com this is not This was called Safari Chic, uh, the name of this polish, but it is retired, so if you want it, you gotta hit me up directly so I can see if I can get it for you, but anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, other than that, yeah, it was just a normal day, um, just, you know, normal stuff, uh, but I will say at some point, um, I guess the, one of the most unique things is that I am taking in a lot of soaking in a lot of good spiritual information yesterday um which i think one of the things led to this topic today um 
because I thought about a few things after the prayer meditation, but uh, when I came across this idea, um, well, what happened? Okay, so let me tell you what happened. So I was um, went to read something else. I think I read like Isaiah 45, and I was reading that, and I just really noticed how it just reiterated over and over again: no other God, no other God, and it reminded me of uh, the message that I heard yesterday. Um, I shared it on our Facebook, but in case you missed it, basically, um, I don't know if you all are familiar with Jackie Gill Perry. Um, if you guys Google her, you probably know she got this very powerful testimony um, that she often shares and whatnot. And um, so not only did I hear her share the testimony again, but I, um, I listened to a message where she was pretty much, um, she just gave this beautiful description of God and this beautiful explanation of, of his holiness you know um, and yeah it just was a beautiful um, I don't know if I would call it a sermon I mean maybe someone would call it a sermon uh, message uh, speech uh, I don't know <laughs> but basically I, I listened to that yesterday it was with Harvest Ministries. She visited them, I think, for like a women's conference or something like that. And so um, she was speaking about that. And um, yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was nice to hear. Um, so I guess I was reminded of it this morning again as I saw those verses constantly saying, No other God, no other God, no other God. And so, you know, I know there's debate, I know people got different beliefs and, and all these different things. So, and again, free to do that because God gave me that freedom to do that I don't judge you you know what I mean like do what you want to do um however the Bible is very clear in regards to there being no other God and um and again I feel like if you do look up that message that I just shared with you all that Jackie Hill Perry shared she really broke it down in a way that I think would be beneficial for someone that is really wanting to seek more wisdom in regards to that um you know i can't even sit here and try to attempt to, to break it down for you so you know i would say hey check that out it's on youtube um again because she went in you know so many she went in depth and um a particular part that I can tell you, but I mean, I mean, unfortunately, um, it was so much information that I took in outside of her message. I, you know, I listened to a couple of other people like, you know, you know my regulars, like Marcus Rogers and, and, and whatnot as well. So I took a lot of stuff yesterday, so I can't necessarily tell you exactly or pinpoint a specific part for you, but I was just saying check out that women's conference if you want to bypass her testimony even though her testimony is powerful but part of it's her testimony she went they had like a musical number and then she came back and sent the message so the latter part of the video is when she starts to talk about what i'm sharing here in regards to no other god and the similarity or whatever but in regards to the juice this is what i want to share today this is what the bible says here for uh john one and one says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god um another way to think of the word is to think of jesus uh, and i would say another good explanation to check out would be about the bible project it really has this um good video to explain the trinity and how that works um however it's like if i'm not mistaken it's like the words that god spoke was jesus like y'all gotta y'all gotta go deep to think about all that <laughs> but that's what the word here says on john one and one in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god so there you go Isaiah 45 and 5 says, I am the Lord, and there is no other besides me. There is no God. There it is. Besides me, there is no God. I equip you, though you do not know me. Um, I remember reading this the other day to you all. But um, today, when I was reading it, it again, it was in Isaiah 45. Um, 
and obviously he was talking to uh, King Cyrus in particular uh, that he doesn't necessarily know him or whatever but basically he was he's going to use him um, for his glory and everything like that as he does you know all of us I, I would think I mean well if we anyway <laughs> um, but yeah I mean that's just something to think about y'all um, when it comes to this idea of you know there being no other God like why it's for those that question it right I mean it's just this thing of like it's repeated so many times like it's reiterated so many times you know what I'm saying and it's just like how could anybody that reads the bible and call themselves a believer not get that concept that there's no other God like there's no no, regardless of what people believe regardless of what people if you're going to be a reader and believer of the bible now this is just these people in particular not to anybody else if you don't believe the bible or don't read the bible this isn't necessarily for you but for those that read the bible and say they believe it to come out with any other idea that oh yeah there's probably multiple guys and there's probably other options is like what you then you're not reading the bible at all because that it's reiterated so many times so many times um where we shouldn't even that shouldn't even be a question to a believer you know what I mean like that shouldn't even that's like basic I don't, I don't know like um it's just one of those things to think about because again I mean I, I mean I can say that I've seen believers with these debates like okay I, I can't okay I'm gonna be I, I'm a human too right so growing up or whatever when I'm here Obviously, you're being taught a certain thing, and you know you want to learn about whatever else. I, I recall, you know, having the desire to learn about other religions and just see what I wanted to believe on my own and and everything like that. But I, ultimately, my path led me here, you know. Um, and so, I mean, I guess y'all can see, <laughs> you know, the results of that. But. <laughs> I just really people you know i wish people just would read the bible for themselves i really would I, like because a lot of the things people say and do especially as believers it's like come on man like where could you get it from like if it's because it's not in the bible like some of this stuff is it's just it's just not bible so you're, you're just really trying to make up something at this point that that's what you're doing like you're not you're not being biblical so what are you doing and I mean, according to the word, that's doctrines of devils and everything else um, that is causing you to do whatever and operate in that idea of there being multiple guys or operate in the idea of, you know, Jesus not being enough or maybe even there is no God or whatever the case is. So um, I just think that we as believers got to be careful about like what we say and do and um this is something like definitely in particular that's why i say i understand that there's other beliefs right um and and i and i reiterate the fact that god gave us all the free will to choose so because of that in my humble opinion i believe that that's why there's so many different options out there that's why there's so many different beliefs and and all these different things that gives the illusion that there are options and the the illusion that there are other gods out there to to consider however according to the god of the bible there is no other god so i know it can be harsh or whatever and i acknowledge that there but talk about this yesterday right i can acknowledge that your belief um but i guess when it comes to using those words like oh, what's those words use respect and um accept uh i guess that's believe but i can't do that i know that sounds bad that sounds horrible and my apologies you know i'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings i'm just trying to say according to the word that it just doesn't line up it just doesn't it's not it doesn't line up and if i'm going to say i'm a believer then that means i can't believe your narrative even though you have the free will to 
create and believe or whatever you want to do uh, you know um so i mean i think there's ways to acknowledge something without being forced to if i if i just go by the definitions here being forced to accept your explanation as valid or correct because that's what you want me to do that's what word accept means believe or come to recognize an opinion explanation as valid or correct you can't it's like why are you trying to ask christians to do that like okay so so okay I'm, I'm, let's let me i guess as they say be the devil's advocate i don't know if i'm using that phrase right but let, let me just go on the flip side so maybe maybe with me asking you the question how could you expect for a christian to accept your belief then you may ask me the question well christian how can you expect me to accept your belief now this is me this is just me i told y'all about me <laughs> so I told y'all about me and it's probably not the most accurate thing to do but I'm just being honest about me I don't expect you to accept my belief I expect what do I expect from sharing by sharing the gospel I expect that you you know you have the option. That's a, that's the expectation I get from you. Have the option to believe. Now, whether you do that or not, that's all up to you. You know, and I, I don't force it. I'm not expecting you to or nothing like that. I just would say, hey, you know, here's an option. This is what it says, and this is what it's done for me, and that's all that I can do. And whether that's the seed that's planted or the you know if somebody else planted the seed years ago in your life and then i'm ordering it by sharing with you my testimony or whatever like that's what i expect i don't expect people to accept just what i say i mean now god probably do now that's another but that's another thing god is god you know what i'm saying god is god he's in control all you know so yeah he probably expects you to accept uh you know uh or you know respect and accept like yeah the word and god yes however you know me as a human i you know i just i just really think it's interesting again when it comes to this conversation of like all this man all of this stuff all of this but anyway let's keep going <laughs> let's keep going ah! speaking of first timothy 2 and 5 it says for there is one god and there is one mediator between god and men the man Jesus Christ Jesus. I'll say what it says. The man Christ Jesus. I mean, that's what it says, y'all. That's what it says. So again, if, if someone's saying anything opposite, oh, there's no Jesus. Oh, I don't need Jesus. Well, according to the word to do, and according to the word, you know, this is the only way. And say about that i mean i don't know <laughs> I don't. um now this was interesting i came across this isaiah 44 and 8 it says fear not nor be afraid have i not told you from of old and declared it and you are my witnesses if there is there a god besides me there is no rock i know not any so again God is reiterating to us again um, that there is no other God. And um, again, I mean, I wish I could just remember everything that that Miss uh, Jackie was sharing today. But again, she just made so many beautiful points about that. Um, I mean. I, one of the things I can't remember exactly the exact words she used, so my apologies if I'm messing it up in any way. But if I can remember a little bit, it was kind of like something along the lines of asking the question as God, right? If He was to uh, tell us that oh, there are other gods when He knows that there is no other God, 
you know, what would that look like? Like, why, why would he do that? You know, um, and type of vibe. Like, asking those type of questions of, you know, with him knowing the truth, why would he, why would he, you know, tell us the opposite? Like, I mean, I, I guess that's the thing, y'all. We gotta just ask these questions of, like, well, why, why is this reiterated over and over and over again? Why? This is said over and over and over again. This is how many verses I read and gave, and they all are saying the same thing. There is no other God but me. This was saying so several times. Like, how many verses I read already? Like, four or five. And this is just four or five. Like, there's hundreds. So, I don't know, y'all. I mean, you know. Uh, I don't know, y'all. I mean, I guess it's like, you're like trying to drive at home today you know like getting it into our hearts and minds um because one of the again another beautiful point she made i think it was the last thing she said was like um basically what we believe about jesus means everything like it 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 means more than anything in your life whatever you determine regarding jesus and um Again, she said it more beautifully and in a better way. You guys got to check out that um, message. But um, it's just one of those things to think about, y'all. I mean, yeah, you got the free will. You got the choice. You choose and all those different things. Um, But it's literally like when you look at the word and what the Bible says, it's literally telling us this is a life or death decision what you decide to believe about Jesus. And then, you know, so... um, and it's like eternal life and death <laughs> vibes. Like not even because because what I'm understanding is separation from God. You know, um, I say for infinity <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Just something to think about there, man. Really, something to think about because it's you know. I know there's a lot of options, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of ideas and all these different things, but um, this is just very specific. It's very specific. So, I mean, hey, maybe you are somebody that have already, you have this understanding. You already know that there is one God. You already know that you believe in Jesus. Maybe this is you. So, for us, <laughs> check this out. Um... James 2 and 19 says, You believe that God is one. You do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. So, um, now nah, obviously demons, they know. <laughs> they know. Um, yeah, my, I, I would think, you know. Um, and, I don't know, y'all. I guess it's like we got to get this right, right? We got to get this this whole concept, get an understanding of this concept in order to um, then, I guess, go deeper into whatever else God has for us, right? Um, like, his words have to believe that he is and, and that he is a rewarder of those that believe or something like that. First go something like that, but I don't know, y'all. Just something to think about here today. And again, you know, my apologies in any way if I'm, you know, um, coming across tired or whatever. I don't know, but um, you know, that's the juice, y'all. That is the juice today. I don't. I hope that was encouraging and inspiring to you somehow to uh, to know that there is no other God. And um, you all can go deeper. Uh, there are several verses in the go deeper section. Um, the interesting thing about the verses in the go deeper section today is um, that they kind of give a peek at the character of God. Um, these different verses that are in the go deeper section today, they kind of give different perspectives of different parts of God. Obviously, still, you know, we probably won't ever get the full understanding of God until we're in His presence and all those things. But, um, to the end that's the truth <laughs> the bible verse of today is matthew 6 and 33 it says but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you friends i hope you all enjoyed this juice thank you so much for listening to guys like some love
your daily dose of inspiration and juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. The Lord is real. Bye. Everyone is stuck at home, but life is still happening around us every day. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and celebrations. Send your friends and family the gift of wine from the comforts of home. Wine shop at home with Miracle of Wine. Wine, gift baskets, wine accessories, and more at miracleofwine.com.